guys welcome back to the youtube channel today we are going to talk about the topic of phase or phase difference which is quite an interesting and important topic and also when it comes to je syllabus it comes in the topic of simple harmonic motion waves sound wave optics and even in the topic of alternating current so which is quite an interesting topic we have to go through this thing and also i'll be talking about the question that i posted in instagram and i'll be discussing how active noise cancellation works so let's get into it but before we start uh, make sure you subscribe to this youtube channel and stay tuned because a lot of interesting stuff just like this coming up in my opinion the word phase and the word out of phase is highly misinterpreted when it comes to physics and chemistry they usually normally use it but they don't really tell you what it is so let's talk about it uh, take a value take any physical quantity take displacement take velocity take current when it's a constant value when the value is constant there is no such thing as phase the value is constant and that's all there is nothing to talk about it but when the value is varying that is when the story comes in when a value is varying when a value is varying with time not just that when a value is varying with time sinusoidally where do you expect that yes in simple harmonic motion the displacement of a particle constantly varies sinusoidally it goes to the positive value comes back it goes to a negative value and comes back it goes to a positive value and comes back it goes on and on right uh, take an example of alternating current now when it comes to alternating current it is it's a highly misinterpreted idea saying uh, i've heard it from a student he says that there is a wire and the alternating current actually flows like this he actually thought alternating current flows through the wire like this no it is not take a wire take an alternative voltage or take take an alternating current whichever is possible let's just take a 240 volts alternating supply okay when the voltage is 240 volts when it's mentioned as 240 volts it's not really 240 volts it starts from a point it goes to a peak value let's just say 240 is a peak value okay they normally mention the rms value but i'm just considering the 240 peak value itself the voltage of the wire starts at point, at a point e0 it goes to plus 240 it comes back to zero it goes to minus 240 it comes back to zero the voltage in the entire wire not at a specific point in the entire wire goes up to 240 comes back to zero goes back to two mi minus 240 and comes back to zero so that is what's actually happening no the current or the voltage are flowing through the wire it is not happening that way do you get it so here is the interesting bit we take the value which is varying sinusoidally and we link this with a circular motion here is how we do it we consider a particle which is going in a circular motion with the radius a okay now when the particle is going in a circular motion we take the projection of the circle on the y axis and when you clearly observe it the projection simply goes in a sinusoidal motion so we link this sinusoidal motion to a circular motion like this as if uh, when the particle just starts the particle uh, starts at the mean position when the circular motion particle goes to 45 degrees we say it goes to a by root 2 when it goes to 90 degrees we say it goes to plus a when it's 135 degrees it comes back to a by root 2 when it is 180 degrees it comes back to mean position and similarly we basically link a lot of positions on the y axis on the motion of the shm to our circle right so by doing this we basically linked the particle which is going in a sinusoidal motion with a circular motion and guess what the circle here is called as phasor yeah i know the phasor still doesn't make any significance right here but it comes into the picture when you're talking about the difference between two values which are going varying sinusoidally let us take two values let us take two currents let's take two displacements or anything let's start with the positions let's say they're both at the mean position they're both zero they're going to the maximum peak and come back coming back to mean position going to the maximum peak and coming back to the same position simultaneously what is the difference between them it is clearly zero they are starting here when it is at plus a this is also at plus a the difference is zero when it is at zero when it is at zero the difference is zero when it is at minus a when it is also at minus a the difference is still zero there is no problem with that but now let us consider the same particles one is at the mean position the other already left it started early let's just say now they are oscillating like this they are both completing the simple harmonic motions without any file with the same time period there is no problem at all but when i talk about the difference between them one is here and the other is here and they go like this at some point they are actually meeting the difference in between them is clearly changing 
and it is very difficult to keep a track of the difference in between them on a normal scale but here is the catch you take both the shms and take the phasers of both the shms when you consider the phases of both the shms it's a miracle that one of the shm is simply circle motion circular motion the other shm is also a circular motion and the angular difference between them is a constant value let's just start with a value saying shm uh, in one shm it started at a mean position and the other particle started at a by root 2 plus a by root 2 and when it, when they travel like this when they travel like this there is always a variable difference in between them but when I put them on the phaser one particle is at 0 degrees the other particle already is at 45 degrees and when I picture them out both, them, both of uh, the phasers on a single diagram they actually have the 45 degrees and the 45 degree difference is constantly maintained. So instead of talking about the differences directly we can talk about the differences in between the phasers and it makes a lot more sense at given instant at any given instant you can turn them and you can find the instantaneous value difference in between them at any point which is a very beautiful thing now let us apply the same idea to voltages let us consider two wires both have ac supplies with 240 volts of peak voltage okay so which means both start at zero both go to plus 240 come back to zero go to minus 240 and come back to zero let us say both are in the same phase which means the phases are at the same angle at every instant so no matter at what instant you consider them the voltages are zero zero maybe 10 10 maybe 100 100 maybe plus 240 plus 240 come back to zero go back to minus 240 and come back to zero so in this situation even though you touch both the wires at the same instant there is no potential difference in between them at any instant they are constantly varying the, the, both the values are constantly varying but they are varying such that the potential difference between them is always zero so if you touch them nothing will happen so it's like you are touching two wires which are in phase this is a very important idea don't try it at home but if you touch two wires which are in phase nothing will happen but if you are touching two wires with a phase difference let's just say both are at 240 voltage only but one is already at 120 the other is at zero now by the time it goes to 240 it goes to some other value it comes back to zero it still has some value it goes to the negative value it comes back it follows so the voltages are varying sinusoidally the peaks of both the voltages are same but there is always a potential difference that is maintaining it between these two wires and if you touch them simultaneously you will probably die ac does kill we will talk about what's the difference between an ac and dc in another video for sure in the future but right now what i can tell you is the potential difference will definitely kill you that's what happens when you observe a three phase lines on the streets most of the time if you land on a single wire nothing happens i'll tell you what if you take a specific phase and bring the same phase from some other line and if you touch both nothing happens but these three phase wires actually have a phase difference in between them the phase difference is always maintained at 120 degrees in my opinion so there is always all the three wires actually go to plus 240 come back to zero go to minus 240 and come back to zero but there's always if it is at zero this will be at some 120 and this will be at minus 120 this is when this comes to 240 this will be some other value and this will be some other value so whenever you touch two wires at once you kind of observe this thing when birds land on one wire and try to touch the other way they eventually die and even the question that i posted the bird lands on one line a snake tries to reach by touching both the wires and it dies right so that's the difference between them that's the point behind that thing now the magic behind the active noise cancellation in a lot of earphones and headphones is basically the same thing when it comes to uh, a good headphones you can completely seal your heads no matter what even though you try that the sound always gets through finding somewhere the other but the idea behind active noise cancellation is a whole different thing yes they definitely seal your ears really good but what they do is the amount of waves that are coming through outside like all the noise that you're getting from outside the earphones actually take all the sounds all the waves they create the waves which are completely out of phase you need to observe this point they create a wave which is exactly out of phase which means if the uh, sound is creating an amplitude plus a 
the ear phones will create an amplitude minus a they mix together and when they mixed sound the noise completely zeros down and you hear literally nothing apple actually did a really great job when it comes to active noise cancellation even though i'm not a huge fan of all the apple products some products are really good i have to admit that yeah they did a really great job uh, if you put on these earphones and uh, if you switch on to the active noise cancellation you almost literally hear nothing except for the music of course the music comes from inside but almost all the noise that is coming from outside actually gets zeroed down so that's it guys i hope i help you understanding phase and phase difference and guess what i opened the registrations on the website examtracker.com so you can go back and register yourself and i'm accepting all the registrations right now if you have more doubts about it drop a comment right below or you can reach me on the instagram page i'm always available there so that's it for today see you in the next video thanks so much and bye bye